school drill a couple weeks ago. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Father Federico Brito, pastor of St. Ignatius of Loyola Parish in Philadelphia. We welcome today in our congregation the members of the Knights of Columbus, the Regina Mundi Council, and family members. We begin, as we always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Coming together as God's family with confidence. Let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and peace, peace to his people on earth. earth. Lord God, Lord, Lamb King, King, Almighty, Almighty God, God and Father, we, we worship, worship you, you, we, we give, give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only Son, Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. <clears throat> Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord, and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then having sent certain young men of the Israelites to offer holocaust, and sacrifice young bulls as offering, peace offerings to the Lord. Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bowls. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he read it aloud to the people who answered, All that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant which the Lord has made with you, in accordance with all these words of his. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Hebrews. 
When Christ came as high priest of the good things which have come to be, he entered once for all into the sanctuary, passing through the greater and more perfect tabernacle not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation. He entered not with blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood and achieved eternal, eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of a heifer's ashes can sanctify those who are defiled so that their flesh is cleansed, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself up unblemished to God, will cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living God. This is why he is mediator of a new covenant, since his death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions committed under the first covenant. Those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. says the Lord if anyone eats this bread he will live forever the Lord be with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark on the first day of unleavened bread, when it was customary to sacrifice the Paschal lamb, the disciples said to Jesus, where do you wish us to go to prepare the Passover supper for you? He sent two of his disciples with these instructions. Go into the city and you will come upon a man carrying a water jar. Follow him. Whatever house he enters, say to the owner, the teacher asks, where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you an upstairs room, spacious, furnished, and all in order. That is the place you are to get ready for us. The disciples went off. When they reached the city, they found it just as he had told them and they prepared the Passover meal. During the meal, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Take this, he said, this is my body. He likewise took a cup, gave thanks, and passed it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, this is my blood, the blood of the covenant, to be poured out on behalf of many. I solemnly assure you, I will never drink again of the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the reign of God. After singing songs of praise, they walked out to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Spring is the season when many young boys and girls receive Jesus in the Eucharist for the first time. It is always a joy and a pleasure as a priest to offer First Communion to children for the first time. These boys and girls entered a covenant with Jesus through the reception of Holy Communion. The same covenant the first communion children received, we all received. Just as Jesus promised eternal life to his disciples, he offers to us eternal life and his body and his blood. When we receive his body and blood, we become his, broken, his body broken, his blood spilled out for the life of the world. We are called not simply to be at the Eucharist, but that we are called to become Eucharist. As Jesus abandoned himself totally to the Father and to each one of us, so he invites our response. 
He invites us to abandon ourselves to Him and through Him, with Him, and in Him to one another and to the world. Each Sunday, we come to believe and understand more deeply that Jesus is with us, in us and between us. Each of us is a sacrament, a hidden presence in Jesus, a Eucharist carried into every street, household, factory, and office. Jesus is present in the world because we are present. One day, while making rounds at a hospital, I visited a patient who was to go to surgery the next day. I asked if he would like to receive communion. He was ecstatic. And after leaving him and walking down the hall, I could hear him say from his room, mmm, that's good. The joy and the patient experienced in receiving Holy Communion and the joy the First Communion boys and girls receive in Communion is the same joy we all experience in the receiving and receiving Jesus Christ. For Jesus, the Eucharist was more than a prayer. It was the whole of his life, the totality of his love being poured out for those he loved. His whose life was and is Eucharist, and it is into that totality that he calls us with him and as his disciples. As we continue in our liturgy this morning, we remember our experience and joy and pleasure in receiving Jesus Christ. And we give thanks to Jesus for the gift of his body and his blood. As we continue in this Eucharist, we say thank you, Jesus, for the gift of his body and his blood. Let us now profess our faith in the Lord as we say, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten another Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us, men, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary. Amen. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathered for this renewal of the new covenant, we call on God and seek his gifts for one another. That government commitments and our generosity may be effective in alleviating hunger and poverty, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a growing appreciation of the Eucharist as God's greatest gift to us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a deep and abiding faith in the presence of Jesus in our midst, especially in the Eucharist, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's healing and presence upon our sick at home, hospitals, and nursing homes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions, we present before God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, we renew our covenant with you and Jesus' body and blood. Provide what we ask and sustain us through our life's work. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of bread and wines and our prayers may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, may the bread and cup we offer bring your church the unity and peace they signify. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. All powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. He is the true and eternal priest to establish this unending sacrifice. He offered himself as a victim for our deliverance and taught us to make this offering in his memory. As we eat his body, which he gave for us, we grow in strength. As we drink his blood, which he poured out for us, we are washed clean. Now with angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, we sing the unending hymn of your praise. fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with John Paul, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever.
Let us pray together in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. We offer to one another sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us your body and blood in the Eucharist as a sign that even now we share your life. May we come to possess it completely in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in each other. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
lots of people start their day with Monica, Rick, and Dave on Action News at 6 a.m. In Trenton this morning. What happened in Trenton this morning? 